Hello everyone, this is Lex from Clawson Motorsports. We're going to spend some time today talking about one of my favorites, the Kawasaki KRX 1000. I love this vehicle. I don't know if it's just because of the size of it for being a big guy. This is a big hoss right here. This is the unit that Kawasaki has come out with us for the performance side. Uh, Kawasaki is so well known for the mule as we've all used for years in the agriculture industry. It's just been the standard little workhorse on every ranch and farm around. Everyone knows the Kawasaki name. So finally they decided to go fast and play. So they gave us the KRX 1000. This unit, they did their homework and their research and studied what everyone else was doing. And then they put it all together in one package. From the top to the bottom, the way they designed their cage to underneath the way they designed their suspension. They have really laid out this very well. The geometry on this vehicle is perfect. All the KRXs get a Fox suspension from the factory. They have a static suspension like this model or all the way up to the electronic suspension like we've talked about before from Fox that monitors the whole system and allows the vehicle to change on the fly as it goes. The angle on the shocks even is laid out to where it goes just in the same angle as the roll cage where it transfers all that energy through the cage so it takes some of the harshness out of the ride on a Kawasaki. The way they've laid out their rear radius arms They've captured them so they're controlled on both sides. We've all been there, we've got those little trail rocks where they get caught up in there between the caliper and the wheel, and you can hear it grinding around in there. Kawasaki even planned ahead for that. If you look on these vehicles on the back, there's a little rock kicker set right in there inside the wheel off the caliper to help kick those rocks out onto the trail. So it's just that attention to detail that Kawasaki put into this unit that really makes it shine for the rest of us. They give you plenty of room inside the unit, which is very comfortable, like I said, for taller, bigger drivers and operators. We have a lot of room inside it. Kawasaki is also the only manufacturer that on their LCD screen gave us a CVT temperature gauge. That means for the belt housing, or the belt operates from the engine to the transmission, heat is the biggest killer of that belt in there. So they actually gave us a temperature gauge where we can monitor that while we're using the unit. None of the other manufacturers do that. A lot of us have spent a lot of money in the past to put an aftermarket gauge and a system and everything so we can monitor that. Well, Kawasaki saw that we were doing that and put it in there from the factory for us on all their models. You can get, this is the ba base model KRX. You can also get it with the limited edition where it's gonna have a bigger sound system, things like that. You can get it with the electronic suspension. You can get the trail version that's gonna have rock sliders, winch, everything else like that on it. So Kawasaki gives us some different options as we go through this, but the hardcore underneath of it is gonna stay the same on all the units. It's that 1000cc engine that Kawasaki developed specifically for this unit. It's not something they drew out of one of their mules or anything else. This 1000cc motor runs twin 50 millimeter throttle bodies on it. So it's really great that each cylinder has its own throttle body. That's gonna come into play because they really like to play on the rocks with these units. Especially here out of the Central Valley, we're really blessed. We've got rocks right up the hill, really easy to get to. We can play in the sand in a couple hours. We can be down in the desert in a couple hours. This unit likes all those terrains. You pick one that you wanna play in and this unit will stand up to it. This has a low power setting on it. If you can use the low power setting switch on the dash, I've had some videos before that we'll share with you that shows these things going downhill where the engine braking comes into play and just controls the vehicle so well on a downhill slope going over rocks, bumps, trails. If your foot's bouncing on the accelerator, it doesn't matter because the throttle blades move slower on the low power setting. Keeps you in control of the vehicle, makes you feel confident that, like, all right, I've got this under control. Even though we know that things can get out of hand fast, this gives you confidence when you're running it in that setting like that. They are also one of the only manufacturers that gives me another feature that, I don't know why, but it's the little things that are important. It uses a parking brake. Most all the other manufacturers you know do not give us a parking brake. We're buying aftermarket bolt-on things to give us a parking brake. When you're in the hills and you stop on a slope and you pull the parking brake on this, it's gonna hold the vehicle with the brakes instead of using the transmission. So that, that parking brake feature allows you to just confidently be able to park that on the hill and not worry about it when you're in the mountains and trails. They give you plenty of suspension travel on these units. There's nearly 22 inches of travel on this, on this suspension the way they have it set up. Like I said, their coils are set just right from Fox. They've done all their homework with that. You'll notice also that these cars come with 31 inch carnivore tires all the way around on it. I love having that feature of having the same size tire and wheel all the way around on the vehicle. Some of the other people you know, they put skinnies on front, wides on the rear. You gotta carry a different size spare, this and that. 
not on a Kawasaki. One size fits all kind of deal. They also come from the factory with aluminum wheels with bead locks. Kawasaki looked at a lot of the features that a lot of us change on our units after we purchased them and decided, you know what, let's pick some of those things and put them as stock features on our units from the factory. You'll notice that the Kawasaki runs a full door on it. So instead of a half door like a lot of the manufacturers do, and also a feature, some people really like that these doors open in the correct orientation like a normal car or truck instead of opening the wrong way like all the others do. By having this nice full door on it, it gives you easy access in and out the way it opens. A strange feature that my better half likes is the fact that it has handles on the outside and a door handle on the inside like a normal car or truck does. So it just feels right. One of the biggest things that I have heard about this unit is people said it feels the most like driving their car or truck that they're used to, but it has all the capabilities to go off-road and go all the places that we would never take our car or truck out on when we go out for a Sunday drive. Part of it is the view from the vehicle. You'll notice a really steep slope on the nose on a Kawasaki. By doing that, when you're sitting in this driver's seat, you can see that blind area in front of you much quicker. The way they've cut the door is also different. You'll notice that's very high in the back. It's gonna give you kind of that tucked in feel when you're in the vehicle, because you feel that the structure is around you, so you feel a little bit more confident that the way that it's built. But then they cut down the front edge of the door, so it's easy to see that tire if you're on the trail or rocks. You can just look out and see it. If you have an opportunity, come down and see us, sit in one. You'll see the feel and the fit, the finish, all of it just feels right when you're in a Kawasaki like that. We've got some brand new 23s here. We've got the new four seat models here. We've got all the different options for you. Just come down and see us. So thank you for spending some time with us again here at Clawson. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know.